in November last year, I made a video about uh, installing Void Linux. Well, I decided to install Void Linux on my new ThinkPad T450 again. I really love, there is something drawing, you know, to about uh, Void Linux. I really like that distribution. It is very special. It is different than the most other Linux uh, distributions. So I thought that I would make a revisit video and uh, talk about things I do uh, once the Void Linux is installed. So let's go. I open my terminal and first thing I want to do is to update repositories and my packages. And that's uh, what we write is sudo xbps dash install dash su repository. Uh, European repository is updated now. The next thing I did was installing um, bash auto completion. For some reason, Void Linux team did not uh, include this package. This is something that uh, distros usually come up uh, with uh, automatically, but not in uh, Void Linux for some strange reasons. So we install it, sudo xbps install bash completion and then enter. Yes, as you can see, I already have it on my system. Then I install several uh, packages such as a simple screen recorder, VLC, NeoFetch, HTAP, I really like that one, FileZilla for managing website stuff, then QBitTorrent, my favorite torrent client, uh, it's torrent, I think it's like this, yes. And then Signal, the desktop application. I really like that one. I'm using it on my phone as a replacement for my SMS package. And then I install these. As you can see, I already have these installed. One thing I also did is adding additional void repositories. Usually, Void Linux comes just with normal repository alpha.d.repo.voidlinux.org. People who were not placed in Europe usually change the repository address to, you know, something closer to them, being America, or Asia, or whatever. But I also added a few repositories, such as sudo, just a moment install then there is one called void repo uh, non-free this is for commercial packages or the ones that are not free as in freedom but i have this already but this is the address how to install this repository the other one is the void repo multi lib i believe and then non-free these are the packages that are actually 32 bit but they are wrapped inside the 64 bits i believe maybe some older packages this is the repository for that kind of packages and then i also install additional packages such as, as dropbox this is uh, as pretty essential for me in order to get my files. Then, of course, Audacity is a requirement. Then also maybe Abbey Word. This is a great alternative to LibreOffice. Then also Audacious. This is my favorite audio app, listening music, radio, and uh, 
podcasts. But also, it is very important to, at least on Void Linux, to install Audacious plugins. Otherwise, Audacious will not work, at least not on Void Linux, if you do not install plugins. What I like to do is to remove microphone noise. This is how we do it. Let's fire up a nano. ETC, I think it's in pulse, default PA. Then we go all the way down and we add this line, load module module echo cancel. And then the extensive noise while recording uh, should be uh, drastically reduced or even removed. So let's go out, control O for saving and control X for exiting. And it's very important to, to update your pulse by running audio pulse audio dash K. Okay. It's time maybe to remove some of the cache and orphan packages on the system. And it's done by XBPS remove dash capital O O. Great. If you want to remove a package and its dependencies, we can just write xbps remove dash capital R S and then a name. For instance, Abby Word. I already uh, uninstalled Abby Word, so it's gone now. Void Linux is really a bare minimum distro. It doesn't come with a lot of apps not not even apps a lot of packages is missing for instance there is a no archive manager so let's try to install the one i am using at this moment xbps install file roller i believe this is gnome uh, archive manager and also i install unzip because file roller does not handle zip files um, automatically. Uh, so those get installed. Also, I install LibreOffice or Abbey Word. This time I install LibreOffice in this system. Also, I like to install Midnight Commander. I think it's very nice. File Manager run and terminal it's a cli also for um, improving your laptop battery management i installed tlp and then you can just run i believe sudo tlp start to start it up and it says tlp started in battery mode auto then let's install an image viewer because void linux doesn't have one so um, i install gthumb i already have it as you can see also pdf viewer i use a simple one it's called events also plain text editor there comes there's no plain text editor of course there's nano but if we want a uh, graphical one and we can install for instance uh, gedit void linux is not able to take screenshots on you know with print screen button but we can install what can we install we can call install gnome dash screenshot and then we will be able to take screenshots of our desktop with print screen button. If you want to run app images, and I really do like them, then in order to run them on Void Linux, we need to install XDG utilities. Let's do that. Utils, yes. It's already installed on my system, but so 
then after that you can run your app images i have here cool retro term terminal we go in properties for that file permissions and then we allow existing file as program and then we can just double click and we are running this very cool retro terminal called cool retro term let's see if it works oh yeah it really does work beautiful isn't it mm, now we can actually use it and if you want to install this this one this very cool retro terminal we can just run xbps install and then cool retro term and you will get it on your void linux yes backlight the uh, brightness of the screen on my system resets on every login this is something that we can change by startup applications and then we can make a new one pressing on plus head and then we can call it whatever you want and then command x backlight dash set 30 percent this is how i like it some of you maybe would rather choose 40 percent 50 70 whatever you can just write that and then your uh, screen brightness will be set at 30 percent when you log in also when installing applets in cinnamon on void linux will actually get you an error because uh, the system is missing an msg fmt package or something like uh, along those lines you can just install it it's called i think uh, msg uh, msg fmt is a part of get text so you can just install get text and applets or adding applets will work we can go here applets and then you can just download add and it will work that's what i do when i installed void linux it's a fabulous fabulous clean distribution however it's not very uh, newbie friendly and it's not very polished in in many many would say however i like i like it as you can see i use new ubuntu yaru theme and i installed it by going to your home and then Control H for showing the hidden files and libraries, and then I find icons and I just put my sudo files right here. And then I have a very nice theme, or at least icons, um, called Yaru. I really like it. I change it here to sudo because avoid Linux Cinnamon is not very polished but it is now i also installed the desktop theme called elegance so i have a very nice transparent thing here so this is my system i really like it very much and uh, that's it i think for this time Voy linux wonderful distribution however it's not for everyone i know that but because I think it scares a lot of people. It scared me a few times. I ran away, but I came back and now uh, I really enjoy it on my laptop. Love it, actually. So that's it. Bye.